Hello and welcome to B2B Marketing Business Types System Businesses. The objectives. By the end of the class, I expect you to be able to define the characteristics of a system business. Understand some of the fundamental decisions in terms of a supplier and be able to describe how a supplier manages the initial follow-up investment choices that the uh, customer has. Systems business. Limited supplier insecurity. Buyer is very insecure. Rebuy opportunities and you tend to deal with market segmentations as opposed to individual buyers. Why would we want to have a systems approach? We create a lock-in. We basically create the opportunity to maintain a monopoly. This is a very powerful position for us to be in and allows us to take advantage of the situation. A lot of the time this means that we have to initially going very cheaply at low margin with most of the margin being made later. We have some abilities in there in terms of R&D and some price adjustments. I want you to understand the different motives for a supplier and tell me what you understand by locking. What are the characteristics? I want you to be able to understand the three reasons for demand side preferred systems businesses. What's the real benefits? Products and services, the customer benefits and purchasing association. Really what are those characteristics there? Why is the system architecture or design so important? When I think about architecture, I tend to think about IT systems. When I think about system design, I tend to think about product service systems, okay? Think how it works and how you can optimize that system. Look at the dependencies, system binding, lock-in effects. How can we better design a system that improves that? So the customer wants to stay with us. Not feeling that they have to stay with us, but wants to stay with us. What type of marketing approach do we need? What is the market processing before or after in the system processing? How does it match with manufacturing? And why is there supplier or buyer insecurity in here? These are some important questions which I expect you to be able to answer. How do you deal with pricing? This is really difficult. This is the razor razor blade system. How do you deal with pricing? How do you make people feel comfortable with pricing? And what levels of pricing you're maintaining? Today, tomorrow, and after renewal. I want you to look at switchover costs. If they want to change from supplier A to supplier B, what is the actual cost of doing that? In there, there's some security things because if you saw the uh, buyer is insecure, but we also have some real hard changeover costs in there, which will cause them some difficulties. Why a buyer could be uncertain about buying a product? How does this stop the buyer? How do we reduce the hurdles that they have to go through so that they can buy from us in the first instance? Or if we're trying to break into the market, we need to reduce the changeover costs. How can we remove the hurdles that the customer has. There we go. Um, that takes you through the class in a very, very short time. Uh, we'll spend an hour and a half going through the notes and then we'll go through a case study as usual. Anyway, look forward to seeing you in class. Thank you.